Good morning, everyone. How's your day already? I hope you have your coffee, because now sit down, enjoy inspiration for today. We have a really good show for you today, and I say that, and I, don't, I love our guest. You're going to meet him in just a second, but this is one of my favorite verses. It's one that I quote often, often. So let me give it to you, and if you write it down or dwell on it, think about it, there's a lot of meat in here for you. And here it is, it's in Ephesians 2, verse 10, and it says, we, that is all of us, are God's workmanship. We're created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Now we're going to dig into that with our guest for today, but you ever wonder why you're born? Why did God put me here on earth? What was he thinking? Sometimes we're hard on ourselves, you know? But he did it for a purpose. And this verse says, to do good works. What does that mean? Well, we're going to dig in. Our guest for today, who is known around Laguna Woods, David Richter. Come on in, David. Good to see you. Thank you. I say that you're known around Laguna Woods. Well, first of all, you've lived there a long time. Oh, 11. 11 years? Yeah. But you jumped in some. I know you were the starter at the par three course for 10 years. Only 10 years. Yeah. Did they, did it they just give, seemed longer. Did they give you retirement uh, they credit cut for all that? The, they cut all this, the, your thing away, took money away from you, and I said goodbye. Oh, well, that, that's another story, but <laughs> oh, David, you always crack me up. But I know that you've, you were, you've been involved in so many people's homes. Uh, we're going to get around to what you do for the Lord, but you also, I know that you were, uh, well, you were cleaning carpets, you do woodwork. 29 do, years. 29 years. And um, How many would you say you've done in Laguna Woods? Hundreds. Hundreds. But I only got here last part, so I'd done probably 20-some years before I even came here, and I got tired of doing it and sold my business. Okay. But you, I know that that's, I think, how, I don't know, I'm thinking that's how we originally met. Oh, really? We had you, maybe we had met, and then we had you clean our carpet, but you were, you were good at that. Yeah. Yeah. 29, 29 years it should be. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> listen, so... I, I chose this verse because, and, I, and, and it seems so fit, fitting for you. Because, David, you, you've done so many different things that I'm even aware of uh, for the Lord. Boy, the, can you recall some of those ministries um, that, that you've done? Well, I think it's really important that I tell people that I invite them to church. And you have to be a bit careful about being selling cars for so many years, you can oh. say the right thing without making it feel bad, and you take a chance of being ridiculed or saying, just mind your own business or something, we're not that religious, and we have our church, we're happy yeah. with you. Um, I do it in such a way, and it's really, you really have to force it, and you want to get out of the house, and you got your check, and you want to just say something, and if you don't, you feel bad. So I always say something, and then you go to, one woman was in the hospital, and um, so I asked my wife to come there. My wife first already died. And um, so we, we met, and then we went to the hospital. I, I didn't want to go. I said, let's go home. I'm hungry. We went there, and, and this little lady's in a bed. And uh, uh, she has her kids praying for her. And I grabbed hold of her hand. And um, just grabbing hold of her hand, it was, uh, it was really good. And uh, I was so happy I came. <clears throat> Make a long story short, I led her to the Lord. And uh, and uh, I kissed her, told her that who was she going to go to heaven, and um, she was happy. She was crying. I was crying. Yeah, that's. But the next day she died. Oh. And it was just a, a nice feeling I had. You helped change someone's eternity because they're in heaven with the Lord right now. Yeah, I got, it. I got rid of the part of being worried about being embarrassed. Yeah. It's nice to be in our church now. We sit up front. 
I look over here. I, I sent them here. I sent them here. There's two or three more that I wish was possible. And they're that active. is a huge yeah. ministry it, of just sharing because you know what a blessing oh, worship is. And you've, you've brought many people, and I thank you for that. And then, once they're there, I know as a fact, well, you've had many ministries. Some uh, people would view more as more important, but they're all important. You helped make our coffee. Three for years. Mi- for three years. Yeah. By myself. Yeah, yeah. That was an experience, too, when I left there, because you were, did both services. I did it the last part of the second service, but then clean the kitchen. And when you clean the kitchen, it was done. I, I don't sweat much, but I remember, <laughs> I remember leaving. I mean, I wasn't soaking wet, and it was a hard job. It wasn't that hard. When I walk out the door, yeah. I would kind of look back at the church. It was going on. The music was playing or whatever. And I just, it was a most wonderful feeling. Of making well, all that coffee. The reality it back is, and forth. I, I, I say it all the time to all our participants, all our people who serve, and that is that each part fits together so well. And I know that currently, you actually are help put out seat cushions. Yeah, every day. Yeah. yeah. So we, we, we have seat cushions. We're in Clubhouse 5 at, well, at 9 and 11. And so those chairs, if you are in Laguna Woods, you know they get a little hard. So we bought seat cushions for all the, for all the chairs. And we have a team of people, because that's, that's 350 chairs out there that we set up. I'd say there's, I'm just guessing, at least 10 people. Yes. Otherwise, it would take me an hour to do yeah. it. Yeah. 10 people on, the, on that team. And then there's another team that comes in at the end of the 11 o'clock service, and they help put them back in the bags. And Well, those types of things are so important because... Well, we all know that the mind can capture only what the seat can endure. (laughs) And so you're helping us in that way for sure. But it's just, it's being available. That's you and the people that do things like that. It's just being available. I really owe a lot. Um, Being a drunk, uh, I've been sober 45 years and uh, smoked with that. 40 years ago, and uh, prison, um, actually a long term, but it ended up to be only less than a year because they found out it was an accident, and, um, and I was a drunk, and I, a little tiny bit of pot for two weeks compared to drinking, but I was, I'm sober all this time, and I am so grateful that I'm not the same person at all. I was, I'm, I was just a guy just fought and fist fight, and and drunk all the time. So you're basically talking about how the Lord changed your life. Yes, I owe him so much. Yeah, and you express that so well. Now another skill that I know you have, David, is that you're amazing with wood. That woodworking skill. And as a matter of fact, we're going to put up, and I think we're seeing right now, uh, you use that skill to make the cross that we use every Sunday morning. And uh, I have no idea if that was a hard thing for you or not, but it is absolutely beautiful. And whenever I get to carry it in or out, I just love the skill that you put into that piece. I mean, we went for the women's group, too. Okay. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Is that a long... Thing? Does that take a long time? No, it's like really that? simple. I mean, okay. I make furniture, so it's I know you're a furniture builder too. I repair. Yeah. Repair. Yeah. Yeah. There was about eight of us. Now I'm the only one left. They all kind of just passed away or moved away or something. And that's and and you do most of your work in Clubhouse Four, isn't it? Cut my I have my garage too. Oh, you do. Yes. Well, I thank you. And every time I like I say I look at that cross, I think I think not only of what it represents with Jesus. But for me, it represents the heart that you put into making that piece of thing. Yeah, it was. Thing. So Laguna Woods, thank you for tuning in today. David's going to be back with us again tomorrow. I hope you'll tune in. We're going to get to know him just a little bit better. Have a great day, Laguna Woods. 